what you can't wear to Ballpark Village, and we're ready for zombies and college grads. That and more today in The SIF. Welcome to The SIF. I'm Gabrielle Biondo with a look at how St. Louis is sounding off online. Heading for the new Ballpark Village? Well, beware, there's a dress code, and I'm not joking. Men, no tank tops or sleeveless shirts. Also, no athletic shorts, sweats, or team jerseys, unless it's game day. Readers are amazed at the restrictions, asking how they're even possible. And there's this comment on our Facebook page calling it snob appeal and bad business. And this tweet saying the rules are setting St. Louis up for trouble and jokes. So get your khakis and braided belts ready and head to the game. Great news, St. Louis and Illinois. We are ready for zombies. Based on how well we're armed, the population of military vets, and how much paintball we play, real estate blog Estately says we are set if the undead attack. The blog ranked Illinois 20th and Missouri 22nd. Now it is possible some readers were not taking this seriously. Like this one on KSDK's Facebook page, and this one also from Facebook pointing out what a relief it is to be free of zombies and vampires. Who doesn't love some fun once in a while? Now a glance at three other topics St. Louis is sharing today. Another case of a criminal doing it wrong by bragging on Facebook. Fox 2 says that's how cops caught a robbery suspect. And a new study in the Atlantic shows the buy state tips just above 15% on average. But only about two-thirds of us tip at all. Maybe the rest of you should stay home and eat. And Forbes says St. Louis is the happiest place for college grads. Look below for more on all of these stories. And we're on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube. Be sure to follow us there. We leave you with our St. Louis Meta Moment. Wentzville's St. Patrick's School and Make-A-Wish helped five-year-old Abigail, who suffers from epilepsy, go to Disney World and meet all of the princesses.